Well, good morning, everyone. This is Stephen McNee of Ballyalbany and Glennon Presbyterian Churches. And I just wanted to come on this morning to give you a little bit of an update and to let you know what is going on uh, this week. Uh, just yesterday, we had our live stream service. And thanks to those who uh, clicked on the link and joined us. And I hope that you were blessed and that you enjoyed our time worshipping with one and another. Uh, during that time, I spoke to the boys and girls uh, about the Lord Jesus who wants to give us life and life in all its fullness. Uh, and I want to continue on with that with them. And just below, uh, there is a link or just on our Facebook page, there is a downloadable colouring in sheet. Uh, and I would encourage you for your boys and girls to print that out, to get them to colour it in. And if possible, take a little photo of it and send it back to the Bally Albany Facebook page. And then hopefully by next Sunday we'll make a little montage to show uh, everyone what the boys and girls have done this week in their colouring. So please see that below or go to our Facebook page to download that printable sheet. Also on Wednesdays we're hoping to have some time called Wednesday in the Word. And we're going to be using this little book, Spiritual Health Check, as a basis of our informal Bible study. I'm hoping that I'll be able to do a little bit of teaching. Then there'll be some times for you to pause the video to consider or if you're with someone to discuss the question that I might ask and to turn to the passages of scripture that will be helpful to you. So some point during the day on Wednesday, hopefully no later than lunchtime, there will be a, an uploaded Bible study teaching session Wednesday in the Word. So please do keep your eye out on that. Also, we're hoping to have uh, some uh, Bible teaching, a story time with boys and girls this week. So please do keep an eye out for that. And also for our teenagers within the church uh, as well. There are more things uh, to come. Uh, I just wanted to read a passage of scripture uh, for you at this moment in time. From Romans chapter 12 verses 1 and 2. It says... Therefore, I urge you, brothers, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good pleasing and perfect will. There's an awful lot on social media today and on the news of how people are sacrificing themselves for the good and for the benefit of others. We're seeing how teachers no longer in the classrooms but they are uploading uh, lesson plans and work to be done via Google Classroom or another web-based educational tool to make sure that boys and girls and young people are continuing in their studies to thrive in their education. We also see how people like Joe Wicks is coming on to do a free PE session uh, every morning for young people and for even adults as well. We're seeing how um, defence forces and local guards and police are on extra patrol to guard and to make sure that our society is safe. And then, I don't even need to mention them, but our healthcare workers. We're just seeing how much time and energy they're giving and literally putting their life on the line to care and to protect those who are vulnerable at this time. And we thank God for every one of them. They are sacrificing. They're sacrificing their time, they're sacrificing their expertise, and they're sacri uh, sacrificing their own health for the benefit of others. And I want to pray for all of them today. So let's just do that briefly. Father, we come before you today and we thank you and praise you for the people of which you've placed in our lives who do not think of themselves or they think of themselves a little bit less so that our hearts and our minds are comforted that services and provision are given to us and for all of our families. We thank you, Father God, for the tireless work of our health care professionals. We pray, Father God, as they wander the corridors 
as they go into surgeries, as they go into wards, as they go into sheltered accommodations, and as they m administer health care to all of these individuals who need it. We pray for them, uphold them, sustain them, and we pray protect them from this virus as they continue to work. Lord, we do pray for our police force. We pray for our local authorities. We pray for our leaders and our elected officials as they govern and as they make wise decisions. We pray, Father, for our teachers who are even today available to have web chats or email communication to offer work and support to so many people. We thank you, Father, for all who sacrifice for us. We pray that you'll use them in Jesus' name. Amen. And just to follow up on what I've just been saying there, I'm thankful for people who have sacrificed themselves for the good of others. But can I go a little bit further? Paul said in Romans 12, I urge you, brothers, in view of God's mercy, offer your bodies as living sacrifices. Why are people offering themselves as a sacrifice? Well, our world needs it. Also because they are willing. But can I speak to all of us who are watching on today? Have you seen the greatest gift and sacrifice? Have you received the benefits of the Lord Jesus Christ as he gave himself up on the cross for you and for me. That God gave of his best, his only beloved son, to die on a cross so that our sins would be forgiven. And not just a blanket, all wrongs are forgotten about. He offers you and I the opportunity to receive his grace and his love and his forgiveness and we need to take hold of it because it's there to be taken and because we have received this mercy because we have embraced it into our own lives it is because of that we offer our bodies as living sacrifices so brother and sister in the Lord are you offering yourself today in some form of sacrifice? Well, you should, in view of God's mercy. And to those of you who might not have come to the Lord Jesus, asking him to be your saviour, to be your forgiver, to be your Lord, well, thank you for your sacrifices. But can I ask you, what would your sacrifice do if you did it in view of God's mercy? In view of God's eternal work of the Lord Jesus? Maybe you need to look at God's mercy today and may it change you and may it transform you. God bless.